it's Shannon Galladay and I'm here live in my home office in California. It's a little bit gloomy. Um, our flowers are out. I have to show you. Let's see if I can flip the camera. So our flowers are coming out. You can see them coming out. Um, you can see the roses coming out. So pretty. So Roses are blooming. We are in spring and it is a great time to to be um, doing what we're doing. So welcome everyone, whether you're joining live or watching the recording. I'm Shannon Galladay and I'm excited to talk to you about this topic, three tips to get rid of negativity in our lives. And before I jump into that, I want to tell a quick story that um, has helped me. So, um, so I'm a generally a positive, motivated person, right? And I love focusing on the positive. I love going forward. I love, you know, anything positive. And last year, I struggled. I went through a big struggle last year. And I found myself kind of in a rut, kind of in a poor me mentality, um, where I became this negative, complaining, poor me, and it just took me into this really like not happy state. Um, so, you know, if, if you've ever been there or you know anyone who's ever been there, um, comment below, please share this video with people um, to help us, to help us to get rid of the negativity. So, um, some, I have three tips on how to help us to overcome that negativity, to get rid of the negativity in our lives. Because the truth is, like nothing in our lives will prosper and grow with negativity. So if you notice, you know, people who are negative, um, they don't have a lot of money, uh, they don't have a lot of time, they're usually really stressed, and that's how I found myself last year. I found myself, um, you know, just going down in all areas of my life, and it was it was a really stressful time. And so the way I had to get out of this was to get rid of the negativity and find that light inside of myself again to shine through. And so three things that we can do to help us are to check three areas in our lives. So number one, check check the people that you're surrounding yourself with. So if you're surrounding yourself with people who are positive and you have similar goals in you and who are lifting you up and who are helping you want to be better and you're thriving around those people, then stick with those people. However, if you are finding yourself around people that are complaining and you know things, saying poor me this and poor me that, um, you'll get sucked into that. And that's kind of what I happen, happened to me. Last year I was hanging around some people that didn't really help me, didn't really lift me up. And so, um, you know, not that you have to be mean or anything, but just kind of pull back and, and don't surround yourself with people that pull you down. Um, surround yourself with people that lift you up. So that's number one, is to do a check on who you're surrounding yourself with. Do they lift you up? Do they help you to want to be better? Or do they, you know, are they kind of negative and pulling you down and not helping you be the best you want to be, right? So number two is you've got to do a check on what you're listening to um, and who you're following. I think this is really important too. Um, I didn't realize how much this was affecting me. Um, the news, you know, listening to the news. Um, the thing is, so my background is in public relations, right? And I used to write for the newspaper in our college. Um, so I wrote for the newspaper. And the thing that sells in the media is the shocking, like the worst news ever. You know, like some someone burned down this or someone stole this or, um, you know, this one, someone, you know, uh, stole money in the bank or whatever. Like it has to be this shocking negative news and that's how they sell the papers, that's how they sell the radio, that's how they sell the TV. And the positive things don't really sell, unfortunately. Um, the things that are positive and lift people up. I mean, we did things that were positive in the companies that I worked with. Um, 
and it was really hard to get exposure doing positive things. Um, you know, for example, one thing we did was um, we made, we gave candles away in return for food. So that was something we did. We went to the grocery store and we gave people these candles because I was a public relations director at a candle company. So we gave away candles in return for canned foods so we could give to the homeless. And the news station was going to come and do a reporting on it. Um, I was in Utah and it was a local news station. They were going to come. And then they didn't end up coming because there was something else, you know, a fire or some big catastrophe that trumped that news story. So we lost the news story. And so the thing is we have to understand and realize is that the news people, they want to sell the most shocking, the most terrible, the most negative news stories. And, you know, they're pulling out all the worst things in the world and putting them out in the news. And so the thing is, like, when we're filling our mind with that, it really weighs us down and we feel like the world is like this horrible, awful place. And the thing is, the world is not this horrible, awful place. It's just whatever we put into our mind. So whatever we are filling our minds with, it can pull us down. So... I'm not saying don't be aware, but I'm just saying limit, <laughs> moderation. I know some people that sit and watch the news all day on, you know, older people, and they're just some of the most depressed people ever. So I don't know about you, but we have one life to live, and I want to live it in the best light ever. I want to be happy. I want to be positive. So that's tip number two is just, you know, evaluate what you're putting into your mind, and it could even be on your phone. Like on my phone, when I opened my phone, it had the, the news alerts right there telling me all these negative things that were going on in the world. I just got rid of the negative alerts, just got rid of the news. I might check in the news, you know, every couple of months, um, you know, every month or so. Um, I actually was a missionary for my church, and for a year and a half, we couldn't listen to the radio or news for a year and a half. And my dad said when I left, he said, just wait. When you come back, the news will be the same problems with different people. And that's so true. It's always the same things that are going on, just different people. And so... It's not really hurting me to get rid of that. So that's number two. Number three is focusing on what we're grateful for. So if you're following me on my personal Facebook page, you'll you'll see I'm doing this 365 days of gratitude challenge. And every day I post one thing that I'm grateful for in my life on my personal Facebook page. And it's really hope, helping me to focus on what I have instead of what I don't have. Because I think that pulls us in a negative spot when we think of like all the things that we want in our life that we don't have, but we don't realize like all the things we do have, all the wonderful things we do have in our lives. And so focusing on what we have and what we're grateful for pulls us out of that negative space and helps us to be better. So those are my three tips to get rid of the negativity in our lives. Tip number one is just focus on being around people that lift you up. Focus on people that inspire you and want to be better. Number two is, you know, listen, think about what you're feeling in your mind, whether it's any audio, TV, radio, books, anything, get rid of it if it's not lifting you up. And number three is focus on what you're grateful for every single day and share that with people so that it can lift them up too. And, you know, just even sharing this with you, it gives me like, ah, oh, take this load off my shoulders of focusing on the positive and, you know, like I say, we have one life to live. In the last week I've had, last week and a half, we've had uh, three deaths of people that I know, um, you know, some not as well, but I've, I've heard of three people that have passed away in the last week and it's just made me um, cause to think of, you know, this life is short and, you know, what kind of impact do we want to leave? Like, do we want people to remember us in a positive light and, um, or do we want them to remember, you know, complaining and all that? Like we don't, you know, we just have one shot. So let's make it good. So let's get rid of that negativity. If you need more positivity in your life, I'd love to have you join my free Facebook group. It's called fittothetop.com to help you be fit to the top in all areas of your life, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, and we'd love to have you there. So have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.